which means you know, now I am going to extract uh, you know, the similar pattern okay the similar pattern of this product titles using UiPath modern activities okay so then go back to UiPath studio create a new sequence here and uh, name it like extract 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 uh, amazon uh, product title okay so now so i will go step by step okay from uh, you know, opening the browser and then clicking on uh, product title i mean typing on the product title then uh, clicking on search button then followed by i want to get the get my product titles okay and uh, to open my browser so what activity i can use so uh, you can add a ui automation into activity panel so i'm going to use modern activity okay use uh, application uh, or browser and just indicate and just indicate the browser and that's it or else you can give only amazon url let's say go back to uh, here and just type amazon dot in so this is the page we need to initialize right so then go back to studio and uh, remove this within double quotes add this okay and can we check this because here in the open and uh, you click always okay then in the close you can uh, close it always okay then see how it is opening with whether it is opening or not and uh, so just click on run file and it's opened a new work uh, new uh, browser and closed it okay now uh, let's go here and minimize this and uh, okay now uh, I initialize my browser okay now I want to type uh, a product okay maybe I'm going to type uh, some product like mobiles okay so just to go here and uh, so you can uh, open a new window okay click on escape and uh, control n let's say amazon dot in okay so see this is the page right now it is in a visible mode and go back to straight away i mean straight to the studio then click on this indicate and highlight your uh, uh, the text field so where you are going to enter your product title just know i am giving the anchor button uh, all then click confirm okay then in the here i am going to give within a double quotes uh, mobile so i want to type some mobiles uh, on the product title then followed by i have to click a uh, search button right then click activity drag and drop click activity and click on indicate and just click on search button okay so that is that and now after uh, this i need to extract my a uh, similar pattern of product titles right let's go back to uh, uh, my uh, browser let's say mobile then click on search button so you will get this okay this time so i'm going to use an activity i'm not going to use data scrapping so i'm going to use here extract okay extr act okay so here you see uh, there is a cv extract table and the extract structure data that is uh, available in the ui automation and here you see the extract data table okay use this extract data table drag and drop here and which is similar to this data scrapping okay and uh, so j now just indicate and just click on add column and just highlight this uh, particular title okay so move here just you know move your cursor it's highlighting the price and then uh, the delivery date and then couple of other uh, details even you can extract uh, the ratings as well okay now i'm going to extract the title first the first column and extract only text there is once you click on that you will get two options one is extract text and extract url i am going to extract text that is done and uh, now uh, so if you click confirm that is done so you can change your column name that is here itself that is a product title here would you see product 
title okay title and uh, so if you want to add one more column you can add it clicking on the add new column and you can go with uh, getting a price okay so here you see uh, at the time of you know highlighting this particular uh, title it's only captured only two uh, title because the sponsor title is different and uh, this uh, title is different okay so if you want to capture the same in, and you need to uh, re-highlight i mean you need to highlight it again with uh, another format okay let's say and uh, i'm no redoing it again so i'm going back and uh, just cancel it okay close uh, go back on second cancel it no and click on again so let's say now i highlighted only sponsor title okay let's say now i highlighted this one sponsored sponsor title click on text and it's highlighted here okay and it means it captured the second title automatically but not in the third title because the third, third the third title format is different so i have to highlight here also if you highlight this title and so whatever there is in a similar format of the second title match and it will be highlighted here okay scroll down using your uh, mouse uh, wheel and then come down slowly and uh, see where is there any other titles left in this uh, page if it is left you can highlight that also and uh, if you highlight that particular title and whatever the similar pattern is available it will be uh, highlighted there so now we highlighted a two possibility one is a sponsor title and other is the common title and then we are getting the all the uh, title now it's uh, we have a 22 rows okay now you can change your name here click on confirm and just uh, uh, delete it and add your product name okay that's it now and if you want to if you want to get a price you can add a new column um, then click on the price so then extract text i want only price uh, text okay so if you click on text and it will highlighting the similar pattern hey here i found one more similar pattern but not here okay i want to uh, highlight here just click on it then it's highlighted other similar pattern of this one okay hey i found the uh, similar pattern of this one and uh, so just you know go to this page and you see and there are the same similar pattern highlighted okay that is done you can click on confirm this is all about price okay price okay as of now uh, this is enough for me i'm going to get only product name and price okay then click on save okay so you can change your uh, this so uh, you can you know, change this property as well if you click on this and here you see the product name and uh, the extracted data type is text and here you see the sample and if you want to short ascending order descending order you can uh, do it here itself okay no no need to get it back to the excel and uh, shorting it or you no know, later that's it okay now i'm going to save and click on uh, save and close and if you need a preview you can uh, uh, click on preview button and it will uh, show you the entire thing so here the product name is available and the price is available in the next column and uh, close it okay now save and close and uh, it's uh, again it's asking is there multiple page rows are configured but uh, next button is not set okay i'm going to set next button just to know do not uh, here you can move it but uh, the classic it will be difficult just click on continue and uh, i'm not to you know uh, extract on a, um, this one the next page so here okay so it's uh, extracted the data so i'm going to create a variable that is control k dt table okay enter and so for the same i am going to store it somewhere okay so amazon um so drag and drop right range workbook activity and just browse and uh, okay click on the amazon product title the same table which is uh, click on don't save and click open 
and uh, mention the sheet name you can mention that you know something amazon and here add a bt table okay and click on add address okay that's it now i'm going to run this workflow and see what is happening and i'm going to close this amazon with page and uh, click on run file now you see the browser opened and it's uh, the bot is going to type mobile then it's click the search button then it's you know it's extracted the data and it's stored into this excel okay let's check the excel and here go to project panel and uh, just click on uh, refresh button amazon product dt and open it and uh, go here in the amazon and here you see product name and price okay so this is how uh, the modern activity works okay so